nothing goes waste you learn something new from every single video and you might be lagging somewhere in solving this problem which you can't deny never lose your heart under any circumstances and you will be victorious at the end and keep watching this video until you get a simple solution for this bisection method so we have to find the real root of the equation x cube minus 6x minus 4 is equal to 0 by bisection method First of all, we have to consider this as f of x is equal to, this is x cube minus 6x minus 4. So, I will keep giving values, that is, if I keep x is equal to x1 is equal to 0, see, I will keep 0 here. So, this is 0 minus 0 minus 4. So, I got as a negative value. So, if I keep x as 1, so if I keep this x is equal to 1. 1 here then this will be 1 minus 6 minus 4 so which is equal to this is minus 9 which is equal to this is minus 8 and this is again negative value and this is again negative value so if i keep x is equal to 2 here then f of 2 so this will be 2 cube which is equal to 8 minus 2 zig zero. this is 12 minus 4 and which is equal to this is a 16 and uh, this value will be so here if i keep x is equal to 2 here so this value is again negative so here if i keep x is equal to 3 then f of 3 will be so 3 cube this will be 27 minus 3 into 6 this will be 18 minus 4 so this value will be 5 and this is a positive value. So, if I get a positive and negative, so we have to stop this value. So, here if you observe, if you keep x is equal to 0, so this is negative. Again, we got negative. Again, we got negative. So, if I get positive, if we get two different symbols, two different signatures, so we have to stop and consider these two as so here so this value will be x naught so our x naught value so our x naught value is equal to 2 and x1 value is equal to 3 so i am writing here see here our x naught and x1 value are ready here and uh, if you see next of next what we have to do so this one is x naught is equal to c so x naught is equal to so, the x0 is equal to 2 and x1 is equal to 3 and f of x0 value and f of x1 value. So, our f of x0 value is a negative 1 and f of uh, x2 value, this is a positive 1. And next, we have to consider this one x2. So, x2 will be the bisected value that is x0 that is x1 by 2. So, x2 value will be 2 plus 3 by 2. So, that is 5 by 2 which is nothing but this is 2.5. So, we have f of x value as this is x cube minus 6x minus 4. And therefore, f of x2 value will be that is f of this is 2.5 which is equal to this is 2.5 whole cube minus 6 into this is 2.5 and this is minus 4. So, if I calculate here, this is this is 2.5 cap 3 minus and this will be 6 into this is 2.5 and minus 4. And the value here is minus 3.375. So, I got this x2 value as a bisected value as 2.5 and our f of x2 value is a negative value. So, if I get a negative value, here is a positive value. If I get opposite signs, so I have to consider these two as the next bijection um, for the bisection. That is x2 is uh, considered here. So now, x3 will be x3 will be the bisection between x1 and x2. So, this will be x1 plus x2 by 2. So, x3 value will be what is our x1 value? x1 value is 3 and x2 value is 2.5 by 2. So, our x3 value will be, this is 5.5, this is 5.5 divided by 2, which is equal to, this is 2.75. This value is 2.75. So, I got x3 value as 2.75. And again, I have to consider f of x3. So, for our f of x3, 
सो आवर एफ ऑफ एक्स वैल्यू इज नथिंग बट एक्स क्यूब माइनस सिक्स एक्स माइनस फोर एंड एफ ऑफ एक्स थ्री वैल्यू इज नथिंग बट एफ ऑफ दैट इज टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू दिस इज टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव होल क्यूब माइनस सिक्स इंटू दिस इज टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव माइनस फोर एंड इफ आई कैलकुलेट हियर एंड इफ आई कैलकुलेट द सेम थिंग हियर दैट इज दैट इज टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव कैप थ्री minus and this will be 6 into this is 2.75 minus 4 this will be 0.296875 so no need of the value we want only the symbol here that is f of x3 value is a positive value so i am writing here so this is very important so f of x3 value is a positive value so here is a positive value and here is a negative value for the next bisection value we have to use these two so the next value will be x4 so x4 will be x2 plus x3 by 2 so the x4 value is equal to what is our x2 value this is 2.5 and x3 value is nothing but 2. Point, this is a 75 divided by 2 and x4 value is That is two point five plus. Uh, this is two point seven five divided by two. Value is that is two point. This is two point six two five. Six two five. I got x four value as this is two point six two five. And again, I have to consider f of x bar four. So f of x value is nothing but from the question x cube minus six x minus four. And f of x four is nothing but f of this is two point six two five, which is equal to this is two point this is a six two five whole cube minus six into this is two point that is six two five. This is minus four, and our f of x four value will be c if I if I write this that is two point that is a six two five cap three minus. And uh, this value will be that is a six into that is two point six two five minus four. So this value will be minus one point six six two one zero nine three seven five. Therefore, our f of uh, x four value will be negative. So if I get a negative value here and a positive value here, the next bijected values I have to choose x three and x four. So our x five value will be this is x three plus x four by two. So if you see what is our x three value, so x three value is two point seven five. This is two point seven five, and this is two point that is a six two five divided by two. And our x five value will be this is two point seven five plus that is two point that is a six two five divided by two. The value is. Uh, Two point. This is two point. Uh, that is a six eight seven five. This is six eight seven five. Now, if I consider again f of x five, what is our f of a, f of x is nothing but x cube minus six x minus four, and f of x five is equal to that is f of two point that is six eight seven five is equal to that is two point six eight seven five whole cube. Minus six into this is two point six eight seven five minus four, so this value is so this is two point six eight seven five. This is cap three minus this will be six into this is two point six eight seven five minus four. And this is a negative value. So this is minus zero point seven one four double one, which is a negative value. So after getting this negative value. So f of x five value is equal to that is two point six eight seven five and f of x five value is again a negative value. So after getting this negative value, so here if you observe this one, so for the next bisection f of x x five x six, so which values you have to consider? So this is a negative value. So again this is also a negative value. So if these are same signs, so we shouldn't consider x four. So this is Positive value, so we have to consider these two for the next bisected value. So we have to add up these two. That is, see here for x six. So we have to consider this x three 
plus this x5 divided by 2. This is so simple. So if you have same signs, you have to leave these values. So if you have different signs, then we have to pick these for the bisection. So x6 will be, what is x3? x3 will be 2.75 and x5 will be, this is 2.6875 divided by 2. And if you see, that is 2.75 Plus that is 2.6875 divided by 2. The value is 2 point. This one is. So our x6 value will be. This is 2.71875. So this is the approximated value of the root of the given equation. So this is our approximated value. So which is, which is lying between 2 and 3. So here. First of all, we have chosen that the root lies between 2, 3. So, here our approximated value is also between 2, 3. That is 2.71875. So, this is very, very important. So, first of all, the question will be given like this. x cube minus 6x minus 4. And we have to find the real root of the equation using the bisection method. So, if I keep 0, I got negative. If I keep 1, negative again. If I keep 2, negative again. And if I keep 3, I got positive. So, if I can Different, different signs we have to stop here and we have to consider this value as x0 and this value 3 as x1. So from this we have to start by setting. So x0 value you have to note and x1 value also you have to note. So these are different values. So these two are ready for the next to take as a bisected value. So x2 is equal to x0 plus x1 by 2. So I got this value that is x2 I got as 2.5 and this is negative. So this is negative and this is positive. So the next bisected value will be x3 value will be x1 plus x2 by 2. And again I got this positive. So one positive and one negative. So what we have to consider. So the next x4 value will be the bisected value of these two. That is 2.5 plus 2.75 by 2. And this is also okay and we got negative here. So we got negative and positive. The next bisected value we have to consider this as x3 plus x4 by 2. So again we got x6. So this is negative. So this is negative and this is negative. So we have we shouldn't consider x4. So the opposite sign here is here. So the our x6 value will be x5 plus x3 by 2. So this is x3 plus x5 by 2. So which is equal to this is uh, 2 point uh, that is a 6875 plus 2.75 divided by 2. Therefore, our uh, approximated value is this is 2 point that is 71875. 7 by 8, 75. So, like this by designing this negative positive we have to select the bisected values and we have to frame this one. So, ultimately we got the approximated value as a 2.71875. This is this will be the root of the equation. This is how we have to solve. If you don't understand this one watch this video for one more time or else I will be uploading more problems on this bisection method. Have a look at those. And this is the most, most important problem. Don't miss it. And keep watching. I will be uploading. So, thank you so much. And uh, look out for my next videos coming up very soon. And a lot of my videos are uh, made to make your job easier. Well, that. Thank you so much.